Easter bunnies are adorable, but I want to use the cross from the Blessed by God stamp set for a fast and fabulous Easter card. Come and watch as I demonstrate how I made it. This cross from the Blessed by God stamp set brings to mind the cherished hymn, The Old Rugged Cross. Later in the video, I'm going to share with you the connection my little town has with it. So what I have here is very vanilla cardstock, and we're going to create a sky. And I have here the Soft Sky Classic Stampin' Pad, appropriately named. Press down, and the ink pad smooshes onto this lid so I can pick up some color with my Aqua Painter. Love the aqua painter. Uh, used watercolor brushes before we had this, and controlling the water was really difficult. I had too much or not enough. Now, so, so easy. So what I do is I squeeze to get the water going, and then I'm done squeezing. And I'm over here cleaning this off to get off the excess water, and then in case I didn't put it away, clean. And then come over here and look. See how this just has the perfect amount of water? So I'm picking some up, and we're just going to make some scribbles. We're not going to stress about this. We're just going to do some scribbles and not think about it. Overthink it. Okay, just some scribbles. It's going to look fabulous as it all works together later. Welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 14 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. So what I have here is a Daffodil Delight Classic Stampin' Pad. Push, flip, lock that lid into place. And then I have this beautiful starburst or sun from the kind of eclectic stamp set. Beautiful, beautiful, because my card is going to be for Easter morning. And so we've got some blue clouds, and now we're going to add the glorious sun. I don't want this centered. I want it over here and off the edge a little bit. So off, off centered and over. Press down for a really good image. Oh, fantastic. So the next thing we have to do is make a hill because the old rugged cross is on a hill far away. Well, if you need a hill, how perfect! I have the Sheltering Tree stamp set. <laughs> it's already built in for me. So what I have here is a Wild Wasabi Classic Stampin' Pad. Push, flip, lock that lid into place. Let's go ahead and stamp a hill. Let's come over here. Liking that. But we need a taller hill. That's just not quite enough. So let's step up a little bit and stamp again. Liking that. So then what I was thinking is there would be some dirt at the top of the hill. So I have here, we need to just quickly clean my stamp over here on this side with the raindrops. Stamp and Mist. This cleans and conditions your stamps. We don't want that rubber to dry out. And then come over here and get off the residual ink and dry it. Now I'm ready to go into a lighter ink pad and not contaminate it with color. And I have the crumb cake. Push, flip, lock that lid into place. Here we go. And the photopolymer, how great are these? I can see through. Easy, easy, easy for placement. A little bit of dirt at the top of my hill. I'm going to tell them myself. So here is what I wanted. I wanted three crosses. Easy, right? I've got a clear amount. Stamp, 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 and stamp. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't get it exactly where I wanted, and I thought, okay, this is silly. I have an easier solution. These are very straight lines, easy, easy to cut. We're just going to hand cut them, and then I can place them where I want. So I have here the classic uh, chocolate chip classic stampin' pad. Yeah, let's go ahead and ink it up and stamp. And then without re-inking, I'm going to get a couple more. And so the darkest one will be my focal point. And with the paper snips, like I said, it's so easy to cut out. We've got these straight lines here. And so while I'm cutting this out, let me tell you a little bit about, I promise to tell you, the connection my little town of Reed City, Michigan has to the old rugged cross. George Bernard, well, he wrote the first verse of the song in Albion, Michigan, but he retired to Reed City, Michigan. And to this day, we have a museum dedicated to his ministry and the Old Rugged Cross hymn. Isn't that cool? Little old town at 2500 in Reed City, Michigan. <laughs> Here we are with so my finished Fast and Fabulous Easter card. 
I have to admit, I'm really glad that it worked out that I cut out the crosses, really liking the finished look of that. And then over here, my greeting, sharing in the joy of his indescribable gift, I stamped that with Marina Miss Classic Stampin' Pad ink, and that comes from the Stampin' Up! Indescribable Gift stamp set from the 2015 Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog, available through June 2nd, 2015. And then for our little something something inside, I stamped the cross again and the sun, and Happy Easter, well that's also from the Indescribable Gift stamp set. And of course we have a coordinating envelope on a very vanilla medium envelope. I stamped the cross and the sun again. And so, you know, I was enjoying playing with this so much, I made another version of this card with a twist I think you're really going to like. And I'm going to upload that tomorrow. So the easiest way to know when I upload that is to subscribe to my Stamping Smiles channel on YouTube. So use the button below to, to subscribe now. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.